it's really weird voting for yourself for the first time. Um, we're excited and uh, we're excited to cast another vote for Kenny Hopkins as well for mayor today. What was it like seeing your name on the ballot today instead of your husband? I know it's it's kind of bittersweet a little bit, but it, it's fun. We worked really hard together. He's been by my side for the past well few months, day to day, every single you know night, knocking on doors. So it's been really fun to do this together, and um, you know we were feeling cautiously optimistic today for sure. Any predictions? Uh, like I said, we're feeling really cautiously optimistic when we would be at the doors. We're talking about the next five years. My opponent was speaking about the last five. And I think people want it's, realize it's time for a change. They're rejecting what we found out in the trial. It was a campaign and a, a lifestyle or a culture here in um, the way Maddie Ella ran his campaign about spying on families with young children and using taxpayer-funded positions for his campaign. Voters are rejecting that. We're talking about health care reforms. We're talking about stronger and safer school buildings. And that was resonating throughout the summer and, and into the fall here. I knocked on every single door, even if you had a Matty Yellow sign on, because it doesn't matter. I still want to form a good relationship with everybody in the community. Because if, oh, if I didn't get them this time, perhaps you know I, I could change them on the reelect in two years. Um, what I'd say with all um, the swing that came along, I think the trial, uh, the Jeff Britt trial, really brought to light some of the more seedier details. So for people who kind of thought, well, you know, it doesn't have to do with him. And then once they saw the details of the trial come out, they were like, no, we cannot allow this to go on any longer.